Hi guys and welcome back to Street Talk. I'm your host, Mheshima Benda. And uh, I'm delighted, I'm very grateful for you fans. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for subscribe pale. Thank you kwa yote mwefanya by the way. Uh, kukubata hao ma subscriber wote si mchezo. Again, thank you for even uh, commenting, sharing. Thank you for encouragement and everything else that you are doing. And uh, whatever, if you have something that you, you feel that it's very unique and you want to showcase to the world, please come, we share. I will give you a platform. Uh, we share together so that the world can see what you have. Eh? Uh, today, I feel like uh, I have a, a special guest. Uh, this guy, I met him some sometimes back. I think some decades ago. Uh, he has been my greatest friend, close uh, a family man who I always consult, a mentor. Eh, na amekuwa kinisaidia mambo mingi sana eh. Leo nataka kuje atusaidie tuogelele story kidogo sana. Like 10 to 15 minutes tuogee story ya unemployment. Na gava inaweza fanyaje ikabu story ya unemployment. Tumeona mutua akisema, akisema pale yule wa Machakos governor by 2022 tukimchagua ata provide sijui how many millions of jobs. But hiyo kitu ni the same tulijabiwa na uhunye, uhuruto. So, nataka to discuss na ye, atueleze ya mefanya nini, junaona ye ya meomoka. E, atueleze hizo story zote hapa. So, usibaduke. Na kama uja subscribe, wewe subscribe. So, uh, welcome, welcome young man. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is Street Talk. Say hi to my viewers. How are you viewers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy okay. to meet you tonight. Uh, yeah. Maybe uh, would you can tell us your name, what you do, your career, maybe we start from there. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Joseph Mudana Muchoki. I'm known by quite a many. Quite many of you maybe you have interacted in different platforms. Uh, to start with, I'm a veterinary doctor by profession. I'm also a farmer by a choice and a, a family man. I'm married. I'm blessed with one with daughter, and we thank God for the same. I, we might also have interacted in other avenues that is religious platforms, maybe sharing the word of God and so on. I'm a Christian, that is the faith that I profess. Thank you very much. Uh, Bedawa, I'm very grateful to be with you tonight. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, this, we call this channel uh, Street Talk. Basically, it's, uh, it's talk about what's happening uh, in our day-to-day -day activities. Uh, it addresses several issues. And uh, today, uh, I want us to, to discuss more about the unemployment rate. Yeah. Uh, youth comprises of 70% of the Kenyan population according to the 2019 census. Eh? So, what do you think about this unemployment rate? Kwa nini, inasemekana watu wame graduate, wame graduate, but connection ina take more part kuliko application. Watu wame drop makaratasi hapa na pale. What's happening in our, in our society? What is happening? Thank you very much. Uh, number one, I would start by saying that uh, the issue of unemployment in our nation, Kenya, uh, it has to do much to do with the issue of the mind. Because the very, the very first time that you decided to join the higher levels of, of education, uh, there is what you focused on. What do you want to become? What do you want to do in future? And I would challenge us this evening, as much as we would challenge uh, many outside forces that uh, have contributed and uh, put the blame on them that have contributed to the issue of unemployment and more so among the youth. I would also like to challenge my fellow youth and I would say that there is much that we can that can be done by oneself to save themselves and to create them or to create an avenue where they can get a daily income. 
For example, uh, for me, when I joined, I remember some years down the line when I joined institution of higher learning. Uh, and I decided to pursue the course in line in which I, I, I practice today. Uh, there is certain factors that I considered. And uh, there is quite a number of fellows that we, we were with them then, and they made their choice as well. But I, I would like to say this tonight, that when it comes to matters of employment, we can think of how we can employ ourselves. And in this case, we will have no one to blame, sir. And when you look at the issue of employment, if you think only on the idea of where you can drop your CVs and be employed, then you will bring some outside forces. For example, you'll say there is corruption, that is why we are not getting jobs. You'll say that the government doesn't have the policies that does not make it efficient for us to secure a position. But also I would challenge the young people today, let us think of how we can create jobs. Uh, and we move from uh, from this problem that we have today uh, of of being job seekers because you you find that most of us in uh, 90 percent of those who are uh, being released for who are graduating from the institution of higher learning all what they have in mind is how they can be employed and you find that there is a lot of flooding uh, uh, there is a lot of flooding in all areas of job application and at, at the end of the day, let's say if it is a, it is a farm, it is a farm uh, or a company, it will only maybe need one manager or two uh, if need be, but you are 20 of you who need a job. So what can be done to solve this? Okay, thank you, thank you very much. But uh, I have a worry, Mr. Joseph. Eh? Yeah. So many of the young, uh, young men uh, and women who are graduating uh, they are so egocentric in a way that I cannot settle for an employment that offers me 15,000, 10,000, 20,000. They need 100,000 because simply because they have graduated. Yeah. 70,000, they need that, that kind of a job. What, what is your take about those people who have higher expectations of maybe getting a higher pay just because they have a degree? Now, squeeze the kilo mtu wakona degree buwana. Uh, uh, Unaleta standard zako hapa. Uh, uh, <laughs> I would say, uh, uh, if you are to talk about the pay, life is a process. And you cannot go against the process. You can do nothing against the process, only for the process. And you cannot tell me that today you want to drive a, 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 a guzzler and you have not started it's like Mr. A, Joseph, it's like Mr. Joseph, Mr. Joseph, there is a vocabulary there. Ga, ga hot. Uh, you want a fuel gas, you want a, <laughs> a big black machine. Uh, uh, to, machine. To, to, yeah, to scale us. Uh. But I would say, if you choose to start uh -huh. to climb the lander from down there, then you'll meet yourself there at one point. At one point. Sure. Most of us, almost of those who are in formal employment, some of you, some of them, they will explain to you and they will tell you what happened to their lives. Is some of them even they volunteer, they volunteer to some companies where they could not get even a even a coin at the end of the month, but they persevered the the situation at the moment. And when the a, 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 a vacant was elapsed or came up, they could be the first people to be considered because you could not tell me that a person has volunteered in a certain company, maybe for a whole year. Then there is an opportunity in that company and you tell me that that company would be that unfair to get another person from outside and ignore the person who have been voluntary in there. And so most of us what we want is, we want things, to, uh, we usually say this life is not a walk in the park. And things want to not be easy. The process is a hard thing. But you have to accept it if, you're, if at all you want to go to the next level. And what will always promote you to the next level is a test. If, and I usually say that the greatest test in life is the test of patience. Are you patient enough? Can you be in a position to wait long enough that when all other people will have given up, you'll still be remaining? And that is the problem that we have. If you give up before others, that means they will get an opportunity and a chance when you miss that point. You, you miss that chance because already you, you gave up some, some times, long time ago. So it is... What I would advise young people, let us not just focus on scaling people. Let us not just focus on being at the top 
uh, in a very short period. You must accept the process. We must accept the process. We must go up the ladder from the very single uh, single case going up. Okay, thank you, thank you, uh, Joseph. Then there is this issue about uh, starting your own business. Huh? As a young man, where do I... Okay, my, the, the biggest challenge to, to the young people is the, the capital. So many of them argue that they don't have enough capital to start that business, that kind of a business. Eh? They even argue that those in uh, senior positions of the government, maybe um, are private sectors, they could go and retire because they have invested enough, then they can take the year all. When they, were, they are there at the top, maybe they will find a way of starting their own business. But how now will they start a business without the capital? Or maybe it's the idea that they don't have, maybe. Uh, Bendao, I would, I would say this. You would be scared or amazed if you ask this caribal of people, you want to start a business, you do not have the capital. Which is that business idea that you, that you have? And you would be amazed that those people who claim every day, they do not have a capital to start a business, even the business idea they do not have. And that is the problem we have. Because we are hiding in the cocoon that I don't have capital. But what are you doing? Because at the end of the day, if you miss that capital or that small amount, the whole of you life, does it mean that you will have to die having done nothing? But you can start somewhere. You can start to do small things. You, you can start from a small point, heading to the direction, so long as you don't miss the vision. You don't miss the direction of your, of your dream. For example, for, for me today, I, I do dog breeding. Uh, uh, and, uh, the way I started, it was in a very funny way because actually when I started it, I was employed in a, in a, in a, certain, in a certain company. And as I was there, I used to do, to connect people who needed dogs. So I could try to connect to someone who is rearing dog and someone who is in need of a dog. So I would try to connect the two and what would remain, then that was what I could keep so that I could at least one day be also a dog owner. <laughs> and it goes without saying that we must not take shortcuts. You know, they usually say if you take a shortcut, you'll be cut short. And in this life, I would say, if we don't want to, to follow the longer route, we will usually, we'll just not get to that point of succeeding in this life. So what I would like to say, there is so much that can be done. You can even boil eggs. For example, those who sell the boiled eggs here, uh, you would be amazed that that guy would buy that egg at 10 bob. You just boil and get a kachubari which go, the, 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 the amount is very small. Then you would sell it at 20 bob. That guy is making 50 per, uh, is 100 percent profit. You sell it, or you, for example, if you sell a uh, 100 eggs in a day and you are getting a profit of 10 bob, that is a thousand per day. That tells you that in a month that guy will be having a salary of 30,000. A profit of 30,000. So we must change our way of thinking. We must change our perception. If at all we have to continue, then we must ask ourselves, where are we going along? So the government of Kenya, uh, led by the Uhuru, the, His Excellency Uhuru Mwegei Kenyatta, have been trying to initiate some uh, policies and uh, some strategies to curb this uh, unemployment rate. Uh, of late, we have been seeing Kazim Tani, and you may pay a vijana who machinani na everywhere. Mm. But uh, ukeda kwa ma vijana kuna wenyadi wa menyangani wa pesa. Mm. Yo pesa ifiki adi kwa mifuko yao. Again, utapata wa kiagiu kuna issue ya chief anajuana na huyu na huyu na huyu domana amewapea kazi. Do you think the government has done enough to to look? To this, uh, to this issue of unemployment rate in Kenya, maybe trying to, to reduce the, the impact that it has. I would say that uh, even though as much as the government has done some good intervention to empower the young people, uh, we also have a few who are sabotaging the plan of the government. For example, those who are in, uh, in administration those who are entrusted with the issue of facilitating 
what the government is trying to do, some of, the, some of them are, are so immoral, such that they will not consider the young generation. And not, also, I would also like to challenge the young people and ask them, to the few that they are getting the few coins, what are they doing? As much as we blame those who are in leadership position, because we cannot talk about development and we exempt the issue of leadership, because they go hand on, uh, hand, on hand. And, and, and the, the thing is, as much as they have failed, does it mean that we have to fail as well? So mm. that we may be at an equal ground and then push the blame to them. I, I would say even if they have failed, uh, as much as we try the legal process to get what we deserve, then we also need to think what can be done to lies beyond the challenge that we have. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, that was my guest. Uh, we had a very interactive session. Is Jose Nakama Ukonambo Apo? Ama you have some dogs, uh, German Shepherd, Isozote. I think at a Tuereze Akitubati a final remarks. Uh, so be prepared, my guest. Uta Tuereze is your types of dogs and you who na deal nazo. So thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you. Pleasure. Na, thank you very much. Na, be successful in your life. Thank you. Na, karibu sana tena. So your final remarks. Asante. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's also not lost on me that uh, we are mourning as part of the Moranga fraternity and Gaturi word in particular in these trying times that we have lost our MCA. I would like to send my condolences to those people who are there and more so to the family and all those who are affected. Uh, I would also like to clarify on what I do on the issue of dogs as I've been directed. If you'd like any kind of treatment that is pertaining your pet, we have quite a number of breeds of dogs. We got the small dogs. We have the Japanese pits. We have the terriers, uh, which are quite a variety of terriers. We have the the Maltese, we have the Havanese, then we have the big security dogs, we have the German Shepherd, we have the Boa Bells, we have the Rotoiras, uh, we have uh, other type of breed of dogs that we call the Belgian Marinois, and uh, we also have some other uh, dog type of dogs that are used for other purposes like sniffing and in terms of uh, trying to, to, to retrieve some lost items. We have the golden retrievers. We have the the also marinois are used for the same, and quite a number. Uh, the list is quite endless. We have quite a number of dog breeds. So if you'd like to have a security dog in your press, you can connect with me. Uh, if you want a uh, treatment, you can also connect with me. And also, if you'd like to start or to venture into the same. As a young person, you can still connect with us. We are JJ Kennels. I also provide the veterinary services. You're most welcome to operate with us and enjoy our services. God bless you. Thank you very much.